Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I am here today at the Rock Island Auction House checking out some of the guns that they are going to be selling in their April of 2016 premiere auction. And this is an example of a gun that I actually have been kind of wanting to find a good example of to show you guys. This is a 20-shot, two-barreled pinfire revolver, which is, actually has some neat mechanics to it. And what I found in this particular auction is this example, which is also completely covered in extremely fancy gold engraving and inlaying. Um, this is, I think, without a doubt, the fanciest looking pinfire I have ever seen. Normally when you find these things, they're usually pretty darn beat up. Uh, this one is exactly the opposite. This is completely over the top. So why don't I bring the camera back here, because I know you can't see anything from that view, and the whole point of this is to take a look at this impressive thing. So let me begin by saying, good grief, that's uh, quite the pin fire here. Someone went to an incredible amount of work making something this ornate. Now you can see we have tools here, we have a cleaning rod, a screwdriver for disassembly, and this is an oil bottle, like so. And then the gun itself, two barrels and 20 chambers. All right, let's start with some of the, uh, the really ornate decoration that has been added here. This whole thing is covered with this engraving coupled with gold inlay and these gold studs over like the entire surface of the gun. Gold-plated front sight. We've got our manufacturer, E.L. Malherbe and Sia Liège. So Malherbe and company. Uh, Liège, of course, is Liège, Belgium, which was a major firearms manufacturing uh, city, in, including, in particular, a lot of pinfire manufacture. I wasn't able to find any other information on this company, although I found several other uh, well-documented manufacturers in Liège with the same last name, just not the same initials. This is a folding trigger model, which is not uncommon for pin fires like this one. Well, mechanically like this one. I have not seen any other pin fires like this one as far as decoration goes. Cool feathery looking thing on the hammer there. And then the grip, of course, is right up to the same standards. This is either engraved or molded. And what do you need to top it off but a gold-plated lanyard ring? Now the mechanics of this thing are also really cool. In order to get 20 shots, they had to have two barrels because a single 20 shot, uh, a cylinder with 20 shots that are all in a single uh, circle would be just really huge and impractical. So what they did is they have two actual uh, layers of chambers in there. And the inner round here, these match up with the bottom barrel and the outer circumference match up with the top barrel. Now in order to do this with just one hammer, what they did was they put two actual hammers on this or uh, two firing pins on the the hammer. This is a pin fire gun. You'll notice that there are these little notches on each of the chambers. So a pin sticks out of each one of those and hitting the pin straight in is what fires the cartridge. So you'll see that these hammer, these firing pins have angled surfaces on the back. That is so that when they impact, they will drive the pin directly down into the, the cartridge and set it off. Now the way this works is you've got one ratchet on the back of this cylinder and it rotates the cylinder what looks like from the top about half a position with each time you cock the hammer. So you can see that this chamber is lined up with the barrel. Okay, that's great. When I cock the hammer, oh, now nothing's lined up with the barrel. That's because one of our inner ring of uh, chambers is lined up with the bottom barrel. So when I pull the trigger, this top firing pin hits nothing right there, but the bottom firing pin is going to go inside and hit that pin right there. This is a little finicky, there we go. Now when I cock the hammer again, it rotates another 
kind of what looks like half position. And now we have nothing lined up with the bottom hammer, but we have this chamber lined up with the top hammer. So you get 20 shots and the, the system mechanically deals with these two separate rings of chambers automatically all by itself, which is pretty slick. Yeah, it was a, a clever bit of design there. Now in order to load and unload this, we have a loading gate here. So your ejector rod actually lines up with both sets of chambers. When you have it pushed in against the frame like this, you can punch out cartridges from the inner ring and then you can just pop it out away from the frame and now it lines up with your outer ring of cartridges. And then you can of course reload everything through that loading gate, close it when you're done and you're ready to fire. This type of gun, this two barrel, 20 shot, mechanically really neat pistol was made, in fact the vast, vast majority of them were just basic, plain, un undecorated examples. And they're out there. They're a little difficult to find because they're, they're considered pretty uh, collectible, pretty desirable, just because of the size and the, the kind of the wow factor with a gun like this. Finding one that's engraved, uh, massively decorated, like this example, is really pretty darn unusual. But it's really cool that I can actually show you both the really over-the-top decoration and the really neat mechanical function all at the same time in one gun. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't think you'll ever get to see a, another 20 shot pinfire quite like this one. So I definitely wanted to take the chance and check it out while we could. If you'd like to have the chance to check this thing out every day, uh, it is of course coming up for sale. You can own it yourself. Take a look at the description text below the video and you'll find a link to Rock Island's catalog page on this piece. You can see their pictures and their description and uh, place a bid right there online or come up here to Rock Island and participate live. Thanks for watching.